Hello and welcome to this channel. I want to walk you through the physics practicals alternative B for wire candidates 2025. Electricity is a major topic in WIEC and other examination bodies. If you observe your OBJ and theory, you understand that electricity questions dominated. And in practicals, you can't do without this topic. So I'm here to walk you through the physics practical alternative P solutions on electricity. And based on the alternative A question, you can see that this was the equation. You can see how simple it was. This was the circuit that they were to exhibit. And they were able to carry out this uh, practical perfectly. So, but for alternative B, don't expect the same circuit but expect a similar experiment. The battery here is 3 volt battery. And then the resistor here is 1 ohm resistor. That is for alternative A. But alternative B, it will be labeled as X. Okay? And if it is labeled as X, we are going to be expecting two resistors. Two resistors. 1 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor. For alternative A, it was only one ohm resistor. But for B, based on the white paper, it was two ohms and one ohm resistor. So, looking at the experiment, these are some of the materials you are going to use or apparatus. You need a voltmeter. You need one ohm resistor and two ohm resistor. Okay? And then you will need your jockey, of course. You are going to get your connecting wires and your key i hope you are following then if you are able to obtain those materials i can connect this particular alternative b practicals to that of 2012 and which is why i made this video based on the apparatus if you look at 2012 physics i'm telling you you see that the circuit there is similar look at it here you can see an accumulator, which is your battery of EMF. A 2 ohm resistor and 1 ohm resistor connected in parallel. Can you see that? Then we have a key. Okay. And then we have a jockey. Then we have a potentiometer. Then we have a voltmeter. Are we together? Now, the experiment, even though it's going to be complicated, it will not be more complicated than this. So I believe, even if they are going to attach an ammeter, they will attach an ammeter to read current. So it will not go beyond this circuit. I hope you are following. So if you are an alternative B physics practical student, please go through this practical and learn it very well. It might be of great help to you and it might also save you time yes it will save you time so quickly let's look at this as you look at this you have three volt battery that is 1.5 volt and 1.5 volt then if you connect them in series you are going to have three volt battery then you have a potentiometer this is your potentiometer please this is how it looks like and this is your jockey exactly you'll be using it to touch the point at which it has been marked in the question either 10 centimeters 20 centimeters or 30 depending so this is the circuit you are going to exhibit are we together please now if you are able to execute this then you need to follow the instructions as given so these are the instructions you are provided with a voltmeter v a chemical cell battery e two standard resistors r1 and r2 a potentiometer a b a key and a jockey and other necessary materials set up a circuit as shown in the diagram above you've seen the diagram so we are going to repeat the circuit we are going to manifest it practicalize it then close the key k and when you do that you make contact with the potentiometer wire a b using the jockey at the point c such that a c is equal to 20 centimeters and is equal to x so that's what you'll be carrying out 
in these practicals. You'll be using your jockey to be touching that particular uh, marked length. So you are going to measure length. Now, as you are doing that, of course, you are playing with resistance. So it will affect your voltage. So you are asked to plot the graph of V inverse on the vertical axis against X inverse on the horizontal, beginning both axes from zero. Determine the slope, the intercept, and state two precautions taken to ensure accurate results. And then you have some other questions attached. To it, state two devices in which Ohm's law does not apply. And then a current of one ampere is applied to two resistors of resistances, two ohms and three ohms connected in parallel. Calculate the current in each resistance. The resistance value might be changed from two ohms to, and three ohms to one ohms and two ohms. Please take note of this. So let's look at the circuit diagram again and look at the parallel connections of the resistors which will give us resistance so you see r1 and r2 connected in parallel right here then look at your potentiometer we are to take note of x exactly then this is how your table is meant to look like please take note your x is to be recorded in centimeters okay we have 20 30 40 50 60 and 80 all in centimeters take note of the decimal places that's the values then your voltage you can see we have 3.33 2.50 2.00 1.67 1.43 .1 1 1.11 if you compare your volt or your voltage to your distance which is x you see that as x is increasing v is decreasing can you see that as x is increasing v is decreasing so v inverse gives you the values you are seeing and then x inverse also gives you the value you can see being displayed so please if you understand this concept it will save you time and it will notify you of errors in case you are making mistakes you'll be able to detect on time i hope you are getting it after the first the second you should be able to know where you are headed and should be able to know that your practicals is perfect i hope you are following so please take note of these uh, values they are very important i want to show you this so that you'll be able to have an idea uh, so that it will save you time now look at the values you see that the x inverse are in three decimal places so please you need to maintain that standard for v which is in volts is two decimal places maintain the standard now let's look at the graph this is how your graph is meant to look like v inverse against x inverse you can see it here so if you are plotting this graph of course your x inverse are in decimal places even your v inverse so please you must ensure that your scale is perfect, please. Okay, then look at this point. This is the point of intercept. The point of intercept. If you look at this diagram, you see that it's in between 1.0. So if you are going to solve for your slope, it will change in V inverse over change in X inverse. Okay, so by expansion, we have V inverse 2, negative V inverse 1 all divided by x x inverse 2 negative x inverse 1 is that clear so with this you should be able to obtain your values let's assume this is our value so 3.3 .3, negative 1.6 all divided by 0 0.05 negative 0 0.02 so that this will give us 1.7 divided by 0 0.03 and our answer becomes 56.7 all together this gives us our slope then our intercept here if you observe is in between 1.0 and 0 so 
intercept C is equal to 0 0.5. Are you following? These are the method you are going to apply in solving your question, especially the practical question. Then don't forget your scale. Very important, please. So looking at this circuit diagram again, answering the questions about precautions. Number one, I ensured that the key was open when readings were not being taken. Then you can also say that I avoided errors due to parallax on the voltmeter, ammeter, and the potentiometer. I ensured that the jockey did not scrap the potentiometer wire. I hope you are following. Then you can also say that I ensured that the wires or cables were well connected. A current of one ampere is supplied to two resistors of resistance 2 ohms and 3 ohms. I'll be using 1 ohms and 2 ohms based on the white paper connected in parallel. Calculate the current in each resistance. From the question above, our current is given to be 1 ampere. Our R1 is equal to 1 ohms. And then our R2 is equal to 2 ohms. So, if we observe the connection is in parallel. So, our RT, which is 1 upon RT, is called 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So, by substitution, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. Our LCM is 2. 2 into 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 1, 2. Plus 2 into 2, 1. 1, 1 is 1. So we have 3 over 2. So that our final answer becomes 2 over 3 ohms. Are you here? And this is the same thing as 0 0.7 ohms. Okay? Now, we also need to calculate for our VT. Our VT is equal to IR. So that we have 1 multiplied by 0 0.7 and that will give us 0 0.7 volt altogether a total voltage based on this aspect now using this we know that our it is equal to i1 plus i2 so an it will now equal v over r1 plus V over R2. Why? Because our V is constant across parallel connection. So 1 is equal to 0 0.7 over 1 plus 0 0.7 over what? 2. So that 1 is equal to 0 0.7 divided by 1 will give you 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 divided by 2 will give you 0 0.35 so that 1 is equal to 0 0.35 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.7 will give us 1.05 this is approximately 1 ampere so this becomes our answer so for r1 so our i1 is equal to 0 0.7 ampere or 0 0.67 ampere then our i2 is equal to 0 0.35 ampere is that taking that this gives us our final answer to the other question then let's look at the last question there two devices in which ohm's law does not apply state two devices in which ohm's law does not apply number one we have what we call transistors transistors number two we have what we call rectifier rectifier these devices 
doesn't respect Ohm's law. So that is that for this. I'm going to be dropping my video on that of mechanics, which has to do with G clamp and then that of triangular glass prism. Do check back for that video. Thank you. Wishing you all the best in your physics exams. Connect to our social media handles at Physics Bible, the Triune Physics, for latest update. Thanks for joining us. Stay equipped. Stay liquid.